Ladies and gentlemen, recently you have noticed that the Energizer e-beggar has been running rampant all over the internet. That would be that would be me. But what you didn't know is that the uh, the the requests, the funding, the things I want the most. There seems to be a group of people that want me to have those things, and they are subsidizing all my needs, including Warren H. Now I had another live stream going and thanks to the wonderful service the absolutely stupendous job globe internet and the philippines internet in general is doing the stream was cut off right in the middle of a proper laugh so what we're going to do is we're going to introduce mr obama because when it came to scams when it came to scams until Trump, nobody did it better. We're going to talk about the circum circumnavigation of the Posse Comitatus bill and how Trump would not use the National Guard. He offered the National Guard to the governors. And when they rejected it, he did not bring the National Guard into places like Seattle and Portland, Oregon and Chicago and allowed the governors and the mayors to keep the National Guard out. But now, but now, but now I say Trump is going to use the Army National Guard to oversee that every American citizen receives a jab a dab a do. But, 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 not one, not one jab a dab a do. But two, and that's just the beginning, as he explained how he's going to help destroy, absolutely destroy the scamdemic. Now, I'm going to go a little bit further than what I just said. And I'm going to tell you that I'm going to put a link up for a news article that the statistics now show 98% 98% drop in the flu virus. 98% drop in the flu virus and in the uh, the jabba dabba do syndrome is up 60, 70, 80%. Everybody needs to get a jabba dabba do. And Trump wants to have his name signed on that program, which is not a single jabba dabba do, but Multiple jabba dabba doos until the day you die. That's a fact. I'm going to give you the uh, link for that. The name of the uh, channel is Press Reset TV. He goes over it in great detail. And I'm going to give you the, the name of uh, a few other channels. Hello, Dennis. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to give you the name of a few other channels. But I, I just want you to understand that once Warren Hunt found out, about the possibility of getting an Asus i13 computer, which I might have to wait several months to a year before the technology is available on the open market. And I was going to require an additional $1,500. Warren Hunt, the generous man, my friend and sponsor, let's call him my sponsor, he said, don't worry about the extra cost. See if you can order the computer. I said, you can't order it now. He goes, well, when you can, let me know. I'll take care of it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Warren. Now, <clears throat> Salamat. Now, I want to talk about somebody. I am going to talk about somebody in a minute. Yeah, there's going to be somebody that's going to be able to figure it out and somebody that won't be able to figure it out. But somebody... Somebody wants to be in charge of the internet. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. Let me uh, let me let me go to my notes. One of the things that I want you people to remember is 
the extra $1,500 for the Asus i13, maybe, with holographic Skype capability, which means if you had two people with an Asus i13, you could talk to each other in holographs, just like they do on Star Trek. This is great. I love this. I just love the idea. And uh, also what you want to do is what you want to do today is you want to take that credit card out of your wallet. And we, we want you to test. We want to do a test on the credit card because here's what's been happening with my credit card. Every time I use my credit card in the Philippines to pay a bill, it gets shut off and I have to call up the bank. So I don't want that to happen to you. So I want you to all guys to test out your credit card. I don't know, some arbitrary figure, 50 or or $100, and send me some super chat and uh, donate fast. That's one thing you should do. Donate hard. That's another thing you should do. Donate a lot. That's another thing you should do. And prepare yourselves for an entire new scandal. Scamdell, S-C-A-M-D-E-L-L, because the Energizer e-bagger never sleeps, baby, L-O-L. Now, the reason I need a, a new and more powerful computer, of course, is to do video editing. In addition to being able to store more videos in the computer, I will be be able to put the a better video editing program in than I have. That's that's serious. I'm serious about that. Now, there are other reasons I want the computer. Um, while you're doing those editing processes on a small, inexpensive computer, whatever it is, five. I had a thousand dollar computer, an Acer. I bought one two years ago. Well, I I brought it home, and um, I grabbed 50 gigs of videos from, from a drive to put it into the new computer. And the computer froze up. I had to shut the computer off. So I did that. And at the time, Daisy was here. And we did it again. And we did it again. And we did it again. And then she said, why don't you try grabbing less? I'm going, well, normally I grab more. So I grabbed 25 gigs, and it froze up the computer. Now, I brought the computer back. So originally the first day, this was at the BQ Mall computer store outlet, whose name I won't mention, but I will never buy anything from them, minuscule item, you know, arbitrary stuff if I'm in the mall and they have it in the store. So I spent... I was promised if I brought my computer in at 10 o'clock when they open up, this is, this is part of living in the Philippines. No matter how hard it is for you to believe what I'm about to say, this is part of living in the Philippines. So I had made plans to bring my computer in at 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's just say it was Wednesday morning. I don't remember what day it was. They were going to take the Acer out of the box when I got there and paid them. 39,000 pesos in full. So I put that money on the table and they took it out of the box. They, it was in the black bag, sealed, vacuum packed, whatever it is. And they put it on the counter. And they said, Sir, Sir Fazio. Well, when they're, when they're screwing you, they're so nice about it. They're, these are the nicest people to ever do business with when they know they're not gonna they know they know they're not gonna keep their word. They do it's it's just good business. So Sir Fazio, you please come back at two o'clock. We'll have your computer ready. So I got there a little before two. Nobody had even started on my computer. They were supposed to be transferring, mirroring my first computer. So the bottom line is. At, at about six o'clock, I got out of the store with half of what was supposed to be mirrored moved over. So I got home at eight o'clock at night from leaving at eight o'clock in the morning. Okay. 
I get home and it doesn't work. As I said, Daisy and I, we tried to move 50, 50, then we tried to move 20 gigs. It wouldn't work. So I bring it back. Now I have to go back to the store the next day. And I, I am there for four hours altogether in the store. Acer, Acer, Acer. I wouldn't buy an Acer computer again. You couldn't give me one. It wouldn't matter. So they're going to fix it. So I did some more shopping, came back at 2 o'clock. And at 2 o'clock, we tried to grab 50 gigs with the technician because he had put it to the side. And I said, no, let's, get, let's grab 50 gigs. He goes, it's done. I said, grab 50 gigs, put it in there. So I took my drive out, and I gave him 50 gigs of videos to grab. And it froze up the computer again. I said, I thought you fixed this. Yes, sir. But, but apparently it came back. What we can do, sir, is we can. Now, he knew it. He knew it. He was lying. I could look at him and tell he was lying. I've been in business for 38 years before I moved here. I knew he wasn't telling me the truth. Total freaking liar. So what we, And this was his plan. This is the plan. This is always the plan. Upgrade you. So we can upgrade you to the next more powerful computer, Acer. They, don't, they didn't have Asus powerful computers. So I said, how much? You, you'll give that to me for free? No, sir. Extra. So I said, how much extra? 49,000. 40, well, it was 48,900. 49,000 pesos. 49,000 pesos only, sir. So now we're talking about a thousand bucks. So I got the manager, of course, and I said, you want to charge me more money? You want to charge me more money after I spent all day in your store yesterday and then half a day in your store today? And we're not, my computer isn't set up. Yes, sir. Only 49,000 pesos. So I said, please give me back my money. No, sir. What do you mean? No, sir. So you'll have to come back tomorrow. I'll have to write you out a voucher. I said, well, write out the voucher now. Go to the, there's a, a money place, like a money lender that they get the vouchers cashed at. And you sign out the voucher and give me the money and I'll sign the receipt. No, sir. You have to come back tomorrow for the, for the, uh, for the money. So I did. And the manager gave me the voucher and said, wait, a, they tell you, wait a while. So I waited a few minutes and a uh, few minutes turned into 15 minutes or whatever it was. She goes, okay, come with me. So we walk over to the desk where the vouchers are signed and they gave me my 39,000 pesos back. I will never buy another Acer computer, but that's not the point. Here's the point. Had that Acer computer broke and the technician apparently couldn't fix the computer because he had it for four hours and didn't fix the problem. The computer, they didn't want to give me back my money. They wanted that computer to go to either Cebu to an Acer repair or to Manila, which would have meant I wouldn't get it back for four or five weeks. That's not acceptable. So I want what I want. What I will only settle for is an ASUS, A-S-U-S computer. For the last time, will you get it through your heads that ASUS computers has a repair terminal for all guaranteed work in Tag Balaran. Why am I hearing this on a daily basis that some people are too stupid to understand ASUS has a repair center in Tag Balaran. Acer computers have to go to Manila with a four to six week wait. And now that the lockdown is in place, had I bought an ASUS computer, it could be six months to a year. And speaking about new computers, 
I have to say this. I heard a story. Somebody sent me a link showing me with a timestamp that another so-called Philippines blogger stated at the timestamp mentioned, I got a new computer. And now this, and one, somebody must have asked in the comments, how do you like your new computer? And the answer was, I love it. Now, now, now I'll be able to long form everybody's channel. And you'll be seeing some shows go down. Well, whoopity do da. Isn't that the end all be all of getting a new computer? Not for editing, not for storage, not so that you could correct misspelled words. The, the ultimate goal of owning a new computer, apparently to some people, is to be able to long form other people's channels and shows to get them removed from YouTube because those people don't deserve Super Chat. That's... That's uh, that's the truth. That's what I heard. And of course, that was sent to me. A link was sent to me for that. So I I uh, I made a note of it. I don't really care about it so much because it doesn't have anything to do with me. But I just want you to know that I want a nice computer for editing and other people's goal. They're, they're lifelong ambitious. Their wonderful, lofty goals to have a new computer was so that now, now... I can long form other people's channels and get their shows removed because they don't deserve super chat. That's the truth. So that's the, my story about the computer. And uh, I have that note right here that I just read it word for word from what I wrote it. Word for word. Word for word from, from that wonderful blogger's channel. Now, remember, always try to remember, let me, I'm going to go, now I'm going to go to my, uh, Mr. Obama, I'm going to put you down, put me down, we're going to scam them today, oh yeah, yeah, but first I want to say hello to Steve Montelli, over there, get over there, Obama, I'm over there, all right, so let me go to my notes. Okay, so let's go back. Thank you, Dennis, for, for, for uh, thank you for working, 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 working. My, my wrenches are working properly. Uh, let me go back to my notes, the show notes. So, so remember, now that Warren is, well, Warren's in the hospital. I told you he's going to have a throat operation. He'll be out about 2 o'clock this afternoon. That, that procedure should be done. You should be awake, but I don't expect to talk to him till five o'clock. If you're a praying person, believe me, it wouldn't hurt to pray for Warren. I'm going to bang a pot for Warren before the end because Warren has given a lot and he deserves to have a pot bang in his name. Uh, you should also remember that my next one of my next scams are scamdel, scam, S C A M D E L is I need a new cement mixer. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. I need a new rebar bender. That's another scandal. You got to keep that in mind. And also, of course, I want a jet ski. Now, that I don't need a jet ski. I want a jet ski. There's always a difference between needs and wants. But sometimes, 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 I got to tell you, all of that stuff comes in. Christmas is coming. <laughs> we have we have some special scandals coming up for the holidays. And now we're going to go on to some serious matters. Trump's Operation Warp Speed. Check out the link below. So I'm going to start posting these comments. You're not going to like what you read here. But sweet skates. Hello, my friend. Hello, princess. Welcome to the machine. Princess, give me a moment. I want to post about six or seven uh, notes that I have in my notes. So uh, the ongoing Trump's warp speed, check out the link below. Trump is going to bypass the Passe Comitatus, Passe Comitatus Act 
and used the military slash National Guard to uh, back up the mandatory, it's now, it's going to be mandatory, jabba dabba do shot, given by the military slash National Guard to the American people. And he wants to have 200 million, welcome to the machine, Scott, 200 million doses of the uh, the jabba dabba do injected into the American people before October. But, and this is a big but, Scott, welcome. Just give me one moment, please, Scott. Scott, I got your shirt. I want to just show you how big these are. In a minute, I'm going to show you the shirt. I, they're triple XL. That doesn't fit you. You need to go on a diet. So I think it will fit. So let me get the rest of these notes. <clears throat> the link I'm going to give you right now is you guys are not going to like this. So this channel that I've recommended dozens of times, and I highly recommend this channel. It's called Press Reset Earth. Now, this guy goes into the, this man here goes into, uh, let's see, are we done off? Thank you. All right. So, I, if you're done, if I don't mean to interrupt you, if you, if you're done, I'm going to wait. I'm I'm going to read the comment. Okay. It looks like that. That's the end of that commentary. Thank you. I'm going to read that in a minute. I'm going to push this this channel. I'm pushing this channel. This video specifically, and the reason why is because in in the video that I just posted it clear as day. You want to know how they're screwing? Yeah, you, you people, I, I keep calling you the lowbrow, the, the lowbrow people, not all, but some. The lowbrow YouTubers, the lowbrow thinkers, the flu, you morons that I've been telling you for months, the flu is gone. The flu is 98% down. It's, it's in the video link I just provided. 98% of all flu cases, and this is flu season, have disappeared. And why? They're giving credit to the face diaper to remove the flu virus, which is basically the same size as the jabba dabba do virus. So why didn't the jabba dabba do virus go down? And instead, the jabba dabba do virus went up between 50 and 87%. As the flu virus went down, heart attack deaths went down, motorcycle decapitations went down, kidney failure went down. The jabba dabba do virus went up. Even though people wore a mask, even where they wore a mask, even when they wore a mask, those cases are up 50 to 87 percent. But but the flu virus, which is smaller than the jabba dabba do virus, excuse me, bigger than the jabba dabba do virus, has been stopped by the face diaper, but the face diaper hasn't stopped the jabba dabba do virus. How do you figure this? And every state has a different mandatory thing. Now, this video is going to have a woman from California. Okay, so every month, every week, sometimes every day, these pieces of shit bags with, in skin suits change the rules. So one of the rules was in California. Okay, here, this, this is true. This is accurate to the decimal point. They demand that there's no indoor dining in some parts of America, but you could have had outdoor dining during the summer months. So that happened. Then the referendum or amendment or law, whatever, some bullshit thing they put in places, no indoor dining, but as the winter approached, 
you can have a tent type enclosure outside your building. So you could have a tent with see-through windows and picnic tables outside your restaurant, in front of your restaurant, and you could serve people in that area, but you couldn't serve them in your restaurant. So in that video, I gave you the link for, not that anybody ever watches it, because you people are dumb and dog shit, but somebody, and it's just, it's just common sense. Somebody says, if you can't dine inside, but you could dine outside in a tent that's enclosed. What's the difference? Well, no one's been able to figure that out. So certain restaurants that could afford to go out and buy picnic tables and chairs and tents with the, the plastic windows and doors and stuff like that, they built outside tents. And, and now that the winter was coming, or they, they built the enclosures you know, or not. Well, this piece of shit bag in a skin suit governor of California, he now, after the people went out and built the tents with the enclosures or without, you'll see it in the video, he now says that the enclosures are no longer legal. So there's a woman in the video that's just crying a heart out. Um, she's real. She's literally crying. Look at look at what they did. They made me build this, and now I built it, and then they said it's no good. But in the video, you're going to look. She's going to look over there. So her restaurant is here. It's like I'm here and you're there, right? So the, her restaurant is here, and over there, 50 feet away from her restaurant, they're filming a movie. And there's probably about 30 times as many, as much square footage of tents as she has. She has an open area tent. That's deemed illegal for people to congregate in, even though in the tent area, you still had to stay seven feet apart, this prick that runs California. Said you got to stay seven feet apart. Not six anymore, seven it is. But in the other area, there's about... Uh, I don't, you can't see how many, but it looks like 20 times the amount of tent space as the woman in the store restaurant that got her restaurant shut down. And in right across the street, 50 feet away, those tents are going to be allowed to have people working in them in the movie industry. Now, how do you work with a producer from seven feet away? How do you work with an on scene editing or on scene video graphic expert. How do you work with them from seven feet away? You can't. That's allowed. Her restaurant closed down and she's screaming, crying in the middle of the street. And then this woman, and she's really, you can see she's serious, is begging the shit bag in a skin suit, governor and the mayor of her town, to please help the people that are, you're destroying our businesses. The people that are destroying her businesses are the people that are destroying her businesses with intent to do so. They're not going to help you. So basically, they have broken her spirit. Now, I have a different opinion as to what should be done. But of course, my opinion doesn't count. So I'm going to go back to the, uh, I have that in my notes. I, I make, you know, when you people think that I just get on YouTube and start talking, all of this stuff I make notes for. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to be answering other people's comments. I, it takes me hours and hours to make these notes. I have to go over six or seven videos. I have to review which videos I want to talk about. If you're not going to help me and accommodate my needs for my channel, you're welcome to post anything you want. But I will no longer read comments unless I know who the person is directly or unless they're a member of my Patreon account. And I'm going to tell you again, three days ago, 
I canceled a $50 Patreon account membership because I requested their phone number and a Skype call from them to, to Skype call them. And I, I booted them off my Patreon account. Last month, two $50 Skype uh, Patreon patrons were booted off my account. I, I require, before you become a member of my Skype, or at that moment, I require a phone number, a name, and a Skype address. And I want it confirmed by looking at your driver's license. If I can't do that, you can't be a member of my Patreon account. It's a private account, so anybody that tries to sneak in to grab some of my videos, to maybe make vlogs in places like BitChute or something like that, you're not going to be allowed to do that. So from now on, when I see a new member on my Patreon account, you're going to have 15 minutes from the time I get my email to respond with, with your phone number, some sort of identification that can be confirmed where you live, and your Skype address so I can see your face. Anything short of that, I won't be taking on any new Patreon members. I don't care. I've seen people use my videos on in BitChute where they're not supposed to be. Now, does it matter? Nothing illegal that I've done in my videos, but why should they get videos for free? Those videos on my Patreon account are, in fact, set as private for Patreon members only. So the people that try to sneak in and look around, they, got, they have 15 minutes. And your 15 minutes of fame is over. So anyway, so I'm no longer acknowledging people's comments that I don't know. If you're not a member of my Patreon account or somebody that's donated to my channel, just not going to take the time out. This stuff takes me hours to do. If you don't like it, I have a solution for you. Um, there's a pier. It's got to be a pier somewhere, somewhere near you. If there's not, travel to some oceanfront property where there's a short pier, a dock, a deck, and take a long walk off the short pier or the dock of the deck. And talking about decks and docks, before I go back, Scott, this is one of the shirts. Uh, let me put the light on this is one of the shirts. This is the size that I got the shirts made in New York City. Let me go to my, uh, and then I'm going to read Scott's comment. Okay. Okay, so here, now I have I have these shirts too, Michael Fazio's Rockscapes. I have these shirts too in sleeve like this. So here I am. And I weigh uh, 32 kilos. And this shirt here, here are the, here's the shoulders. Here's where the, uh, right here is where the shoulders are. So this, this is the Dex and Doc shirt that I had made uh, that you're going to, you requested I find. I found these. I did not find the, the other ones yet. And here's the front. Rocks, uh, Zola Craft. These are the Zola Craft shirts. Now, that number is from the 1980s, but it was the design I had in my email, so that's what I used. It probably won't work anymore, but that was the original number, so I kept it all original. So, this shirt here is a triple XL, if I remember. Three. 3XL, triple XL. So I weigh 32 kilos, and I'm this big, and this is the shirt. So if I put it from the center, you could see it's a full five inches more on either side. So I got this, I got this shirt, and I got the Zolacraft shirts, and that, that's this is the Zolacraft. I got as, as the Dex and Docks, and I got the Michael Fazio shirts too. I found those two boxes, but I haven't been able to find the other box of the other shirts. And there's, there's 50 shirts in there, less what I sent out from New York last year. So uh, when I find that, I'll uh, let you know. 
I, I doubt I'll be going. I, there's, uh, I have something else to do this afternoon. So let me go through this by the numbers. Dennis was working. Sweet skate vlogs is here. Scott says this is now. I don't really, you know, I, I look at some of the people that I communicate with. Like, let's say Scott Del Fuego, Dennis Adam. Warren and Dennis and I were on the Dennis Adam channel. Dennis, throw up a link for your coal-fired videos, please. Throw up a link for your channel or your favorite video. And we had some laughs with uh, Larry from Expat Prepper. And I had gotten up in the middle of the night. I don't know why, I, you know, you, everybody wakes up in the middle of the night a little bit. And I got on and Warren was on, which was nice. He's back in the hospital, as I said. And but what you should understand is, except for two or three people that I that I have that have wrenches, I've spoken with every member of my Patreon account and Skyped most of them. Now, it's my prerogative to either let you onto my Skype account, uh, my Patreon account or not. I don't care. I know you hear all these stories. You say, I didn't say, I got no. Dude, dudes, dudettes, if I didn't have money, if I didn't have money, how do I pay my bills? Believe me when I tell you that the money that I received from Patreon and Super Chat is definitely a big plus. But it's not. It does not cover the expenses it costs to live here in the Philippines. Certainly not this year. Maybe last year it did, but not this year. So what about the previous five years that I lived in the Philippines before I had Super Chat? Where did I get the money from then? How did I get the money? Where did the money come from? And where am I going to get the money when I start building the hotel? From Super Chat? 